comedian is joining us in studio. Almost every time we see him, he's doing everything he can to take his clothes off. Paul Snodgrass is joining us in studio to tell us about his latest campaign to be on the cover of Men's Health magazine. Hello. Yeah, well, I, I, technically, you're the one that always asks me to it's be true. naked. I'm sorry. I uh, was trying to pass the blame over to you. It's why today I'm not in a speedo. But I, I, I like want to be taken seriously as a Men's Health cover model. And I think you should want to be taken seriously. Real men have curves. Exactly. Now, before we get into it and confuse everyone who hasn't seen your campaign, what made you want to join this competition? It, it really, uh, there's a good friend of mine, Paul Gardine, who you should vote for in the men's health cover. Is he very search. sculpted? Very good looking boy, uh, amazingly funny guy, amazingly talented actor. He entered it through his agency and we obviously as men do, he started ripping him off a bit. Mm. So at 10 p.m. last week Thursday, we decided I should enter as well when we found out that there's a loophole that anyone can <laughs> enter with no checks and balances. So literally by 9 a.m. the next morning, last week Friday, we were in a sauna, in a bedroom, in a swimming pool, taking photos when he's entered the men's health competition. Now, whose sauna, bedroom, and swimming pool were these? Uh, it was the photographer, Darren Vertime, okay. who, who I think took brilliant photos. I think why, it's why it's worked so well. They're amazing. Because the photos look professional. They look great, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, and it's his apartment block, which has a gym, it has a sauna, it has a swimming pool. Um, and his spare bedroom was used for the... Uh, uh, the bedroom scene. And whose dog was that? It's, it's the photographer Darren's oh dog as well. Hugo. Hugo's the star of the entire I shoot. I Hugo. Hugo with a pipe and a bowler hat. <laughs> that is the winning photograph, I think. Now, this has taken off. Yeah, I know. What does your mom think of it? Um, I'm, <laughs> okay. Uh, I love you, Ma. Uh, weirdly enough, I am incredibly lucky. I have two great parents who have a great sense of humor. Um, and they find it hilarious. However, I did get a phone call from my mom and she had the, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed voice. Um, and you, I'm 36 years old and I was six again. When your mom has that voice, I don't care who you are, you become a six year old again. And she went, and she, I, I can almost quote it verbatim. She was like, my boy, I know you're a comedian and, and it's very funny, don't get me wrong, but that one photo, Please, can you take? And it was me spread eagled in the sauna, the sauna. covering my man bits. And when your mum asks you in the not angry, disappointed voice, I don't care, you can be 70 years old, you mm -hmm. take that photo off. So that was that. And other than that, they find it hilarious. They really, really do. That's amazing. But it's still there. You can still see it, can't no, you? No, I took that photo and off. And I saw it this morning. No, there's another photo of me in the sauna. Oh, another one? Uh, yes, the other photo of me in the sauna is smoking the pipe. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whereas there are another photo basically of me kind of... Oh, okay, And she yes. asked me very politely to take that one off. Good, and you did. You listened to your mom. Well, when I look back, I think she had a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking out for you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, were you surprised when so many people... Like, it, it's, vir it's gone viral. It has were gone viral. Were you surprised when it went viral? I was very surprised. Really? Um, I really was. Mm -hmm. It was me just ripping off somebody's um, and wanting to see what happened. Uh, it was funny for us because like when we shot it, actually Paul helped out. He was holding the reflector boards while we were doing <laughs> it. Um, and so I really, really just wanted to take the piss out of one of my buddies and it turned into this, suddenly I'm now cosmopolitan South Africa's choice for men's health. Well, you're our choice. Yeah, and now <laughs> News 24s as well. So there you go. Um, the, the voting process has gone really well and I, I have to give it to men's health as well. They have seen the joke. Uh, they they haven't taken what I've done too seriously, mm -hmm. which I think is great uh, because I think if they took it too seriously, then it would be a bit weird. Right. But they they can see the joke in here. And my opinion is, what's the best abs workout out there? A good laugh. Exactly. I love oh. everything you're about. Now the hashtag you're using is real men have curves. Real men hashtag real men have curves. That's amazing. Yes. Now how many people have been interacting with you using this? It, it's hashtag? been crazy. I, I finally know what it's like to be Trevor Noah because I don't know how to check out Twitter and Facebook anymore because it's just constant um, without the money uh, <laughs> or the sold out one man shows <laughs> or being on Letterman. Nothing. But, but all those things don't matter. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's be, it has been crazy. I, I love the amount of support I am getting from people. I think a lot of people see the joke mm -hmm. and a lot of people like the joke. Um, and let's see what men's health do about this in the oh future. Oh my gosh, I, I am excited to see what they do. You have almost six or 7,000 votes now. We're close to 8,000 votes now at the moment. Eight, okay. And I have made a deal that if we get to 10,000 votes, because it is vegetarian, International Vegetarian Month, mm -hmm. I will shoot 
myself wearing only veggies. So basically, it'll be uh, lettuce and a cucumber is what I promised I would use in the okay. shoot. Uh, at a restaurant called Pure Good, which is only vegetarian and kind of stuff. And we'll do the, a photo shoot if we hit 10,000 votes there. That's exciting. For Vegetarian Month. Okay, now what happens when you win? Because let's face it. I don't know. <laughs> if. If not, you win? Okay, yeah. let's, what happens if you win? I, I think then Men's Health and I will have to have a chat. Have a little chat. <laughs> at the end of the day, it is still at their prerogative to yeah. decide who wins. And I yeah. understand that. I really, really do. Um, but I think it's... It, the weird thing is a lot of people have taken this far too seriously and they're like, you're making a real cause and showing that real men out there, not everyone can go to I've got lots of respect for men that have the mm -hmm. amount of commitment to go to gym and look the way right. they do. I can't be that guy. I just can't. Uh, so I've got a lot of respect for all the guys that are involved there, but I think it's great that everybody's seen the funny in this. Mm -hmm. Well, Phil DeLange, Milo, Hot Chocolate, and Wesley Cockrell. Cockrell. Wesley Cockrell. They were all here this morning, and they think that you're doing an amazing job. They said the only thing you need to do is get a tan. That's also not going to happen. Um, <laughs> thanks, Dad. Uh, uh, it's a genetic thing. I, I basically, I need, I need an asbestos suit if I'm in the sun for too long. I, 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 I get burned straight away. So. Now they, they were all really excited for you that you're representing real men with real curves. Yes. Because, because they said they are real men with real curves, well, exactly. and, and they were happy that you were showing your hairy chest. Exactly. Amongst all of these men with bare chests. And How you need a big hammer for a big nail. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us. Now, how can people vote for you? Uh, it's really easy. Just find me on Twitter at Snoddy, S N O D D I E. Um, everything will be there. You can find out where to click onto the men's health links. All my links will be through there. Go find me on the Twitters.